Hello, pre-calculus students. Today we're going to learn polynomial long division and synthetic division. Let me, uh, focus out a little bit better and let's get started. So let's review division, which you've probably been doing since second grade. The number you're dividing into is the div dividend and the number you're dividing by is the divisor. So we get two and five, six here, or we might say the quotient is two with a remainder of five. Nod your heads like you remember that. Okay, good. So in other words, we can say that this is two times six plus five will get you the original dividend. So the original dividend is the quotient, times the divisor, plus the remainder. Don't worry about memorizing this, that unnecessary. But I want you to see how this works with numbers. Because on page 139 of your text, they tell you that we can do that if you're dividing two polynomials. You're gonna get a dividend and a divisor, so f of x divided by d of x going to give you a quotient and a remainder. <laughs> so I'm not going to show this slide. I'm actually going to work this out. So let's take a polynomial and divide it by another polynomial. <clears throat> so how many times does X go into 2X squared? It goes 2X times. Then we would take this, multiply it by this. And I insist that you put parentheses around that so when you subtract, otherwise you're gonna add these two numbers. These first two terms should always cancel and you have 10X minus 6X is 4X. X goes into 4X four times. Four times X plus three is 4X plus 12. Oh, I forgot to bring down the plus 12. 4x minus 4x is 0, 12 minus 12 is 0, so there's no remainder, so x plus 3 times 2x plus 4 gives us this polynomial. This up here is our quotient. This is our dividend. I always remember divided in. This is our remainder. And this is our divisor. <laughs> now, polynomial long division, I hope that is not new to you. There's another shortcut called synthetic division. And it only works if you're dividing by x minus a constant. If you're dividing by 3x minus 7, then I'll show you what we have to do um, later in this lesson to deal with a 3x minus 7. But if you're dividing just by x minus a, then synthetic division is a shortcut. <clears throat> Here's the same problem we did before. I said it's got to be x minus a. So if we're dividing by x plus 3, our a value has to be negative 3. And then you just use the coefficients, making sure that you've accounted for every power of x. Here's x squared, x to the first, x to the zero. So we aren't missing anything. I'll show you in a moment where we have to put that in, where we'd have to put something in. 
So I bring down the two, the 10, and the 12. Now, if I do my division, I start here. There's my division. So I bring down the two, and I go negative three times two is negative six, and I add, get four. Four times negative three is negative 12, and I add and get zero. So because I've divided an x squared by an x, um, I know I'm gonna get an, um, an something x as my divisor. So this means two x plus four plus a remainder of zero, which is just what we got on the last slide. So now you try. <clears throat> and uh, where did this zero come from? Why is it here? You're waiting for me to answer. I want you to answer. But now I'll tell you the answer. In the last slide, I said you must have, you must make sure that you have accounted for every power of x. 2x cubed plus zero x squared plus 5x minus 1. In polynomial long division, I'm sure you've done that in previous math classes, you would know to put in a 0x squared here. You need to put in a 0 here as well. So remember, you bring down the 2, multiply, move it up here, add. Multiply, move it up here, add. Multiply, move it up here, add. And in class, when we go over that, I'll tell you what answer you should have gotten. If you ended up with a remainder of positive 68, you probably did it correctly. And now I'll show you um, what happens if you try to divide by um, not x minus a, but something x minus a. So first off, we're going to factor a 4 out because it's four, we're dividing by 4x plus 5. So I factor a 4 out. That's 4 times x plus 5 fourths. Since it's got to be x minus a, a has to be negative 5 fourths. So I bring down the 4, multiply, bring it up here, add. Multiply, bring it up here, add. Multiply, bring it up here, add. But this isn't my final answer. This is what happens if I divided by x um, plus 5 fourths. I need to divide by 4x plus 5. So you see I need to divide by this additional 4. So I'm taking an x cubed divided by an x. I got an x squared, so that's x squared, x, x to the zero, and then a remainder. There was no remainder. So this divided by this gives me this. Why did we have to divide by this four? You say we multiplied by the four here. Why are we dividing by the four? Well, if I'm dividing 100 by 20, if I factor a 4 out, I'm just dividing 100 by 5, I still have to divide by that other 4 to get the correct answer. So that's a polynomial long division and synthetic division. We have two more um, factors or two more um, theorems here. This first one is on page 142 of your text. The remainder theorem. What the remainder theorem says is if I take a polynomial and divide it by x minus k, so let's say x minus 1 in this case, then whatever remainder I get is what I would get if I just substituted 1 into the original polynomial. So here, I took x squared plus 6x plus 9, which you can tell by looking is x plus 3, 
quantity squared. So you know that x minus one is not going to go into it evenly. X goes into x squared x times, x times x minus one is x squared minus x, and you subtract. I insist that you put the parentheses and the minus, six x minus negative x is seven x, bring down the nine. X goes into seven x seven times, we get a remainder of 16. What that means is if we substituted one into this, you know, sometimes it's hard to plug a number into a polynomial. Sometimes it's actually easier to do this type of um, division, especially if we had done it as synthetic division. So I get one plus seven, or I'm sorry, one plus six is seven, plus nine is 16. Ends up being the same as you'd get with the remainder. So if I had to plug two thirds into this, and you didn't want to do that, you could just divide by x minus two thirds or do um, synthetic division with two thirds on the outside. Then there's the factor theorem, which um, I mentioned not by name previously. If when I talked about, um, and actually I think uh, this was covered in the last video. If, um, if A is an x-intercept, in other words, let's just use K this time. If K is an x-intercept, then F of K equals zero. That means X minus K is a factor of that polynomial. And that follows directly from the remainder theorem. If there's no remainder, then you can tell that um, you're just gonna get a divisor divided by, I'm sorry, a dividend divided by a divisor is gonna give you a quotient, which means the quotient times the divisor equals the dividend. So that would mean that if you get a zero remainder, then X minus K is a factor. A little longer than I've been trying to make these videos, but wanted you to understand what you were writing down so that all make even more sense in class. Hope you have a great day.